This is the best free editing app in the entire world. And yes, I've tried them all. And yes, that's what I'm using to edit this video. It's called CapCut and it is perfect for beginners. So today's video is gonna be a tutorial for beginners. So go to CapCut.com or go to the iOS store or go to the Google Play store, download CapCut, install it, create your free account. And if they pop up anything asking you to pay, look for an X in one of the corners, tap on the X, close that down. You're not gonna pay for it today because you are editing for free. When you first open up CapCut, it is gonna ask you for permissions to get into your photos or your videos. You're gonna to have to give them permission if you wanna be able to import that into the timeline. So go ahead and do that. It also might try to get you to upgrade or create an account. That's entirely up to you if you wanna do that. But for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're doing everything for free. And one more thing before we get started, I'm using my iPad for the tutorial today so it can fill up the screen. It looks similar on a phone, but the ratio is a little bit different. However, on a desktop, it does look different. Once you have CapCut open, you might have to tap on the edit button if you don't see this by default. But if you do tap on new project, when you tap on new project, you wanna go in and select the videos that you wanna put into the timeline. Now it's important to understand that it's going to import the videos in the order that you select them. So the very first video that you shoot, your hook, you want that to come first. So that's going to be the first one that you select. I'm gonna add these three videos and I'm gonna tap on add three down at the bottom. Now, if you look down at the bottom of the timeline, this is where it imported your clips. And again, it put them in the order of how you selected them. Now, if you put them out of order, if you made a mistake, that's not a problem. All you have to do is press and hold and move it to the left or to the right of where you want it to go. So it's not a problem if you bring them in in the wrong order. I do that all the time. You'll also want to note that it's going to expand that timeline at the bottom. This is also not a problem. You can take two fingers, press and hold, and you can expand or contract in order to get the timeline to the size that you want it to be. And I'm changing this all through the edit. So all you have to do is press and hold and expand and contract. So you can go exactly where you wanna go and just use the one finger to go back and forth and it's gonna move it right along the timeline. It's also important to note that you don't have to put all of the clips in the exact order at this particular time. You just wanna put them in a general order and it's okay to reorder them later. So what you wanna do though is focus on the very beginning of the video. That's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna go to the very beginning of the video by scrubbing to the left of the timeline. And I'm gonna inch along frame by frame or bit by bit until I get the part right before I start speaking. And in order to do that, I wanna expand the timeline because as I expand the timeline, it allows me to move through more frames easier. When it's smaller, when the timeline is contracted, you skip along quicker, but when it's expanded, you can scroll through really slowly. So I'm gonna scroll along until I start to move my mouth. Right when I start to open my mouth, yeah, right about there, I'm gonna tap on the clip. I'm gonna look down at the bottom here in the tools, and I'm gonna tap on split. Now what just happened is, the split tool, cut the video. I can select the video that I wanna delete. I can highlight that. Then I can go back down to the tools and I can tap on delete. Now that clip is gone, it has moved my video to the very beginning. So if I were to hit play, it would start playing the video exactly where I wanted to go. This is the best free editing app in the entire world. That's exactly how I want it to play. You don't want any dead space at the beginning of your YouTube videos. You want things to start quickly. You wanna get the message directly to the viewer to let them know that they clicked on the right video and you don't wanna waste their time. And if this feels awkward to you at first because you're not used to editing, keep going, keep practicing. This does get easier. And if you're on a phone, you're gonna be doing a lot of pinching and zooming with your thumbs. That's okay too. Do this however you want. Practice as much as you need to practice. You will get the hang of it and it gets a lot easier. So now that I had the very beginning worked out, I'm gonna scrub along and I'm gonna play and I'm gonna to listen to see where I stop speaking. I might wanna put another cut there. So I'm gonna play along and see what I do here because I actually don't remember. This is the best free editing app in the entire world. And yes, I've tried them all. And yes, that's what I'm using to edit this video. Okay, so I made an obvious pause there and I looked away. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be the final edit that's gonna make this video, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm leaving this in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along until I stop speaking. Okay, right there, I know that I finished. I'm gonna tap on the clip and I'm gonna tap on split. Then I'm gonna hit play again and I'm gonna wait until I start speaking again. It's available on your phone, your tablets and your, de okay, I messed up. 
It's available on your phone, your tablets, and your desktop computer. Okay. I think I got that one. So I'm going to go back to where I started speaking here after I messed up. It's already selected. So I'm going to tap on split again. Then I'm going to delete the clip that I don't want. And it's automatically going to close those two clips. So now we have this I'm using to edit this video. It's available on your phone. Your now that's not as tight as I would like, and I'll show you how to trim that. But I want you to notice the little white square in between them. That's where the transition goes. So if you didn't want a hard cut there, you can tap on that and it will load up transitions down at the bottom. This is a good time to talk about their pro features. I'm not trying to sell you on it. I'm just letting you know what they are. All the tools you see inside of CapCut that have a pro tag, those are for users who have paid for the app that have the pro account. You don't need those. All you have to do is look for tools that do not have the tag and you can use those. And you might have to scroll along, scroll to the left, scroll to the right. They've got all sorts of different tools here. But if I wanted to add a transition, this is how I would do it. Let me pick black fade. As soon as I tap that, it's gonna give me the length of the transition here. So if I want it to fade out slower, I move it to the right. If I want it to move quicker, I'm gonna fade it to the left and I'm gonna hit the check mark down at the bottom. And this is what that would look like. This video. It's available, it's available right, the little black flash. And you can tell that there's a transition there because it has a CapCut logo on the transition box where this one has no transition. Now, I don't want the transition there. I just wanted to show you how to put one in. So if I wanna get rid of that, I can undo any move that I just made color correction, transition, zooming, anything by simply going to the back arrow, tapping on that, and it removed the transition. Now let's tighten up the back of that first clip. So I'm gonna zoom it in even more. Hit them all, and yes, that's what I'm using to edit this video. Okay, so that took just a little bit longer than I wanted. So I can tap on the clip, and I can choose to cut the clip there, or I can grab the end of the clip and I can drag it back, push it, hold it, and drag it. Now let's see what happens. That's what I'm using, That's what I'm using to edit it's this video. On it's available on your phone, your tablets, and your desktop computers. You can use it for free, and I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. Okay, I just paused there again. So I'm gonna go back to where my mouth stops moving. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna hit split. What's left is the clip I wanna delete. I'm going to show you how to use it right now. Go to cut. Go to CapCut. Go okay. to CapCut. I messed up there. So let's see. I'm going to go to where I start speaking again. Highlight it. Split it. Remove the beginning of this clip that I didn't want. Show you how to use it right now. Go to CapCut.com or go download the app at the Google Play Store or the Apple Play Store. Install the app. Create a free account. And if they pop up anything asking you to pay, look for an X in one of the corners. Tap on the X. Close that down. You're not going to pay for it today because you are editing it for free. Okay. So I'm going to go to where I stopped speaking there. Highlight it. Split it. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to end my video here, and I'm going to show you some other things that you can do. So I'm just going to come in, and I'm going to delete these clips because I don't need them for the purpose of this tutorial. And by the way, right here, if you see the CapCut logo at the very end, you see how that happens right there? You can click on that or tap on that, and you can delete it, and then it's gone. There's also a setting in here where you can turn that off. So if you click out and you go to your settings up in the top right hand corner, you're going to see an option for add default ending. By default, I think this is turned on for most people. You can select that, hit discard, and it should be gone. So that should eliminate the CapCut logo popping up at the end sometimes. But if it does show up, tap on it and delete it. Now, it saved what we were working on here as a project. This is saved up in the cloud. It doesn't put your videos up into the cloud, but it saves the project. So all the projects that you create, it's gonna save those individual projects right here. And you can tap on the three little dots or the ellipsis, I believe it's called. You can rename it, you can duplicate it, you can back it up, you can upload it to Google Drive or something, et cetera. Or go back in by simply tapping on it. Now this is the very basic of video editing. You've learned how to cut, you've learned how to trim at the playheads, you've learned how to add a transition, you've learned how to adjust the volume. There's all kinds of other things that you can do, such as adding text, cut out the background, you can add stickers, 
um, go into detailed adjustments of colors, et cetera, and we can do all of that in future videos. I just want you to get up and running with the very basics of video editing, and that's what we're doing today. So once you have your basic video edited and put together, I want you to look up in the top right-hand corner on my app, it says 1080p. Tap on that, and this is where it's important to understand the quality of the footage that you recorded. My footage was recorded at 4K, and I wanna export at 4K. So I'm going to increase the resolution to 4K. My frame rate was recorded at 30 frames per second. You'll have to look at your camera or your phone to see what you've recorded. If you've recorded at 24 frames per second, move it there if it's 25, if it's 30, if it's 60, etc. So I'm at 4K, 30 frames per second. And the code rate, the bit rate for rendering it out, you can leave it at recommended or you can test it out on high to see which one works the best. I usually leave mine for recommended. I don't mess with HDR. You can experiment to see how that works for you. I don't use it. Now, once you have all of this set and your video is completely edited to exactly how you want it to be, all you have to do is tap on the upload arrow and it's gonna give you the option to save the video to the device. Now it's gonna export the footage and render out the video and obviously the more powerful your device is and the shorter your clip is, the faster this is gonna happen. Once it's finished, it's gonna dump you back into the project page and you need to go locate that video by going into your video gallery. That's where it's gonna export your video to. Then upload that video to YouTube. 